from the TV studio at Montgomery County Community College. This is the Budge Update. Hi, I'm Liz Palisano. And I'm Hanin Hussein. And welcome to this TV week's edition of the Montgomery Buzz Update. County. Election results are in. Student government elections were held last week and results are now posted. For Central Campus, Nick Silva is president and Eleni Drizza holds the office of vice president. The positions of both treasurer and secretary have yet to be determined. Meanwhile, for West Campus in Pottstown, all offices have been filled. Sarah Robbins is president, Grace Baco is vice president, Brianna Ratu is treasurer, and Karima Legal is secretary. Since February, Psychomania has brought colleges and universities nationwide to see which of them can reduce the most waste and recycle the most, the most on their campuses. This year, Montgomery County Community College ranked first in waste minimization in Pennsylvania, fifth place across all, all two-year schools, and sixth place nationwide. However, the school collected only eight pounds of waste, about about half compared to last year. Among its continued innovation were its water filling st stations, which helped eliminate more than 100,000 plastic bottles from landfills. Biotechnology students at the college got a chance last week to explore possible career opportunities after Monco. We get the details now from reporter Rashira Simpson from Professor Feingold's COM 100 class. Hello, my name is Rashira Johnson. I'm here at Montgomery County Community College and I'm here with Dr. Maggie Bryant, assistant professor of biotechnology and biology here at the college. So this is our first biotechnology career fair that we've held at the college for program graduates to network with local companies and try and find a job. Some of them are entry level, some of our students are associate and applied associate degree students. Um, others already have a bachelor's and they're doing a certificate on top of that, so they're a little bit higher up, not quite entry level, but maybe research assistant type uh, positions. So this was just a way to give them this opportunity to network with these hiring managers. Okay. What we do is antibodies and everything related to antibodies, SA development, ELISA, buffers that are needed for antibodies. We started with one intern and we noticed how good the hands-on training was of this person. And we were very, very excited about um, getting in touch more with people who were trained here. How are you guys enjoying the fair? Good, It's been really helpful. The panelists answered a bunch of questions from us in the audience. Good discussion. Thank you so much for coming and having this interview with us today. Thank you. In other news, Montgomery County Community College received $25,000 from PICO back on April 7th in honor of its 50th anniversary. These scholarships will support high-achieving students pursuing science, technology, engineering, and math fields by covering the cost of textbooks, lab supplies, and tuition. As an ongoing initiative, the college continues to build relationships with STEM partners to provide more opportunities for students. Now it's time for the Sports Report with Rebecca Hope. The baseball team continued their hot streak, winning all their games this past week. The team is red hot right now as they took down Lehigh Carbon, Delaware County, and Lehigh University. The team posted an astonishing 49 runs this last week and shows no signs of slowing down. They'll face Bucks County, Northampton, and the Globe Institute of Technology, among others, in the coming week. The softball team is still struggling to find their footing this season, winning one out of the last four games this last week. They did escape with a win from Sussex County 4-6, scoring three runs in the bottom of the sixth inning to pull ahead for the victory. Corinne Otto pitched all seven innings and received the win, bringing her record up to 3-4. and four. The team will round out the month facing Luzerne, Atlantic Cape, Brookdale, and Middlesex Colleges. In pro sports, the Phillies have gone cold after their 3-3 three three start, losing the last two series against the Mets and Nationals, and only posting more than two runs in the last five games. Ryan Howard, Chase Utley, and Cole Hamels are the veterans of the team, while many of the other players are younger prospects. It is hoped the Big Three can find a way to get the spirit back to the Fightins and become a competitive club again. The fire season is over, and changes are already on the way. The team fired head coach Craig Berube after two seasons and a 75-58 record. Lots of fans think Berube was merely a scapegoat for the poor play of the team this past season. Still, 
The franchise and the fans are excited to see what else is in store for the team this offseason. The Eagles are still shocking the football world. The team agreed to terms with former Broncos and Jets quarterback Tim Tebow, which of course garnered a ton of attention and criticism. With the draft right around the corner, Philadelphia hospitals and physicians are on standby for the next heart attack move the franchise will make. That's it for this week. Back to you. Thanks, Rebecca. The college community came out last Wednesday to showcase its sustainability efforts in the spirits of Earth Day. Held at both West Campus and here at the Central Campus, student and community members learned firsthand how the college and local businesses are reducing the carbon foot footprint of daily life. Everything from electric cars to locally grown produ produce to even office supplies. A, key news, a keynote presentation was held during the event, which was sponsored by the Environmental Club. Also, the college's first ever running club is now on the move for its first members. Initiated just this semester, the MC3 Running Club offers students the chance to work together in organizing and planning runs around campus and the community for fun, competition, and for charity. Whether you are an experienced runner, never did it before, or want to exercise and lose weight, this brand new club is for you. Check the community boards throughout Canvas in the coming weeks for more information, including how to join. This week is your last chance to explore the wide area of students' artwork made here at the college. The 48th Annual Art Student Exhibit has been going on since April 6th and will run through this Friday, April 24th. Over 85 students from the Fine Arts Program have been displaying their work for the community to see, which will come to an end this Friday, so, so come check it out. And finally, Kraft Foods is making a big change to one of their iconic products, mac and cheese. The company says it will remove artificial preservatives and synthetic colors from the classic dish. The changes go into effect January 2016, but the company says the product will still taste the same. The colors used for orange and yellow pasta will come from natural ingredients instead, like turmeric and paprika. Kraft removed artificial flavors and colors from other box products earlier this year. Now for Rebecca Hope and the entire Buzz Update news team, I'm Hanin Hussain. And I'm Liz Palisano. Thanks for watching.